Okay, this is an instructional video for the Prismic Bear Lantern from Purple Ladybug. Inside the package, you're going to find a stack of Prismic panels, a USB powered uh, LED light, and a bag full of locking pins. First step of getting the process started is to take all these Prismic panels and lay them out according to the layout that is in the instruction booklet. Step two, for the bear, now that we're beginning to assemble the panels, we're going to start off with the right arm, then left arm, remove the protective film, you can begin folding, red lines fold up towards you, so blue folds away. So now that everything is folded, I can grab one of the locking pins, push it through the flat edge first, right? And then stick it in. And I'm using my fingers on the back side for just a little support and push it in and that one locks in place. Next panel, grab the highlighted panel as shown in the instructions and we're going to be doing the same thing. Okay, so now this is folded, you can put it down and move on to the next step. Okay, next step is to take the piece you just created, grab the piece from the previous step and connect them together. So in the instructions for this step, you will see a series of dotted lines or lines uh, pointing between holes in a flat edge and a corresponding hole in a tabbed edge. So. The flat edges always go on the outside. This is why it's important to keep an idea of which way is out, which way is up. And tabs always go on the inside. So with this one here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of the push pins and I'm gonna just put it on this first one here because I know this hole has, is one of the connecting holes. And I know that that hole connects to this hole according to the diagram and the instructions. So I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna push that pin through that hole okay now as i go through here you can see that and the lines are shown in the instructions as well but even without the lines i can see that those two holes line up that those line up this one will line up there and these two will line up to that one and this one will line up to this one so there's actually quite a good number of connections between these two panels so let's continue on And now you're beginning to have a bit of a shape with these two panels put together. So again, let's keep the orientation laid out and put that aside and move on to the next step. Okay, grab the next panel as indicated and we're gonna repeat the same process as before. This section here is what started on the right side of the image, and this is the bottom, the, the loop part on the left um, that gets, by the time you do all those folds, it folds up onto um, itself. And all the reason for all these folds will become um, very self-explanatory on the next uh, step as you attach this to the pieces from the previous steps. All right, next step, you're gonna take the piece that you just folded and connect it to the other. On this piece, you're gonna flip it so that the inside is facing up and you're gonna identify this lone tab. That's right there. Those two go together. So we'll take a push pin and there's actually a lot of connections on this step. So we'll take a push pin and put it or a locking pin, I should say, and put it through those two and start the assembly. Now, this is where this piece that you just folded is going to open up quite a bit because you're going to adjust it as you make the remainder of the connections all the way through.
Okay, in the next few steps, we're going to be building the left arm of the bear. Start off by picking the highlighter panel. And let's put it back on the table the same way that it shows on the instructions and start doing all the folds. Um, So that's it for this one here. Um, we'll put this one aside and move on to the next step. Okay, next step, you're gonna grab the next panel as indicated on the instruction sheet and we're going to remove the protective film from both sides. And lining up the panel the way it shows up the instructions, let's do all of the folds on it. There we go. Now this particular piece does not connect to itself in any way, shape or form. Um, this one connects to the one from the previous step. So we'll do that as our next step, okay? Okay, on this step, you're going to take the piece that you just folded and grab the one from the previous step and you're going to connect this flat edge here to this tab here. Okay, so to make sure you identify the right spot and you can connect those two together and then the ones that come up as a result. So we'll grab a locking pin, stick it through the flat edge here first. And then we're going to grab this tabbed edge and just make sure on the instructions that you see that the line connects these two together and you pop that one in there. Okay. And from there, we're going to do all the other connections as highlighted or the ones that pop up naturally and make sense to put together. And now we have the beginnings of that right, the left arm of the bear. So there, if I was gonna show it, that's how it looks together, okay? Well, take this assembly, put it aside for now, and move on to the next step. All right, last step for the left arm of the bear, we're gonna grab the final panel. And perform the folds. So now that this piece is done, um, it's time to assemble it back onto the rest of the arm. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the piece we just folded and attach it to the two that are already together from the previous uh, one. And now you have the left arm of the bear, right? Ready to go. And the right arm was also made before. So now you have these two. Well, let's just put them aside and carry on with the build until we need these uh, in a subsequent step. Next step, we're gonna grab the highlighted panel. With this next uh, set of steps, we're going to be putting together the head of the bear and then working our way down the body. Yeah. Get a push pin there. And 
this one goes like that. Okay, so we will hold this and put this aside for now. Let's just make sure that we keep it this way. Next step, you're gonna grab the highlighted piece on the instructions. Reset back to the way it shows on the instructions and do our folds. And we're going to put it right through that hole there and then attach it to that other tab edge. So now that you've got this done, we can move on to the next step. Okay, next step. We're going to connect the piece that we just folded to the one that was previously folded. Now this one here is the back of the head. So with actually, in this case, we're going to flip it over like so. So it looks like that. And we're going to take the top of the head and identify this connection here in the middle where the tube, where it connects to itself and this tab. This tab is going to connect to this edge here, like so. And then we're gonna make four connections between the two. Let's put this piece aside for now and work on the next step, which is going to be the ears. Okay, we're gonna take the highlighted piece on the instructions. Line it back up with the instructions and we'll start making the folds here. So let's start with a push pin there and work our way uh, around the, uh, the shape. And then we form a very cute little ear. Okay, in this step, we're gonna take the ear that we just folded and we're going to insert it into the head of the bear. And then you can see that the back of the head of the bear, the panel here changed shape a little bit um, as the ear dictates where the, those edges of that panel goes. But you can start seeing now that there's a, the ear is beginning to, uh, to take shape and the head's beginning to take shape. Okay, let's move on to the next step and put in that second ear. So pick up this highlighted panel and then reorient the panel to match the instructions. From here, let's do all the folds. Okay. And we now have a second little ear assembly. And we'll put that aside for a second and then we'll come back to it and attach this to the rest of the head. All right, on this step, we're gonna take the ear that we just assembled and attach it to the rest of the head. Right. So with that in place, um, it looks tempting to try and fit and push that one through. That is not correct. 
Okay, so these have to stay like this a little bit open um, because the next piece here will bring that together. So you can begin to see now that the shape of the head of the bear is coming along quite nicely. Okay, next step, grab the highlighted piece. and lay this back out the exact same way it shows up on the instructions. And let's make some folds. So Okay, so now that this is folded, we can, you know, it's actually folded too far because this is gonna be open a little bit more like this. Um, but let's uh, take these folds and from here we will uh, attach it to the rest of the face assembly. Okay, on this step, we're going to put together the panel from the last step, which we folded um, and attach it onto the head of the bear. Okay, so we're gonna take this and open it up a little bit, right? We're gonna find the middle piece, which is the one that has this little single tab sticking at the bottom and we're going to go to that point there and find this tab and this flat edge and if you look at the assembly here of the bear there is a flat edge and a tab just waiting for their perfect match So let's put this aside, fold the next piece, and then continue on with the assembly. Next step is to grab this panel and put the panel back the way it shows on the instructions and do all the folds. Okay. So small piece, but it is important like all other pieces. So we've done all the folds now and let's go on and assemble it with the rest of the panel on the next step. Now we take the uh, nose bridge assembly part here and we'll put it onto the, um, the face of the bear. If you look at the front of the bear, you'll see that there's this uh, tab sticking down the middle and on the nose bridge there's a opposite looking piece that looks very much the same so these ones simply insert together like that and then we'll make all the other neighboring connections so we'll start off on this small piece by putting a pin on that side there and then we're going to insert that onto the head assembly here Okay, let's move on to the next step. Okay, next step, we're gonna grab on this piece. Okay, make sure that the piece is lined up the way it shows on the instructions. And let's make the fold. Now that this is put together and those three pins are in place, we are ready to move on and assemble this onto the head. Okay, next step, we are going to take the 
head of the bear here that we start assembling and we're going to take this big piece that we created and we're going to join them together and you can see here that uh, these pieces go together um, quite logically as this tab here mirrors this tab on this piece and they just insert together like that and that's your starting point for this piece to assemble onto the head so we will start off by putting a pin on that flat edge there And like that, we've got a head that's beginning to look like a bear. A lot, actually, which is great. So let's take the head aside for a second and move on to the next step. Next step, take this panel. And let's get folding. Okay this panel folded it's time for the next step next step is to take this panel that we just folded and attach it on to the main bear assembly so with this you're going to look at the top of these two triangles in this tab we're going to put a pin at the top of this triangle here And that is going to connect to the bear right at the bottom of the nose here onto this tab. Okay, looks a little floppy right now. That'll come into play a little bit better once we do the, the cheeks, which are the next step. Put that aside, take this highlighted panel Okay, let's line it up with the instructions and do the folds. This piece only connects to other pieces. It does not connect to itself in any way. So let's move on to the next step and attach it to the assembly. Okay. On this next step, we're going to attach the piece that we just created onto the um, onto the head, and we're going to find this intersection here, or this little area here of the head, and this point of this piece. So we're looking at it. These two holes, this flat edge, goes onto this tab here on the left cheek of the bear. Now we have a nicely formed left cheek on the bear's face here. Okay, grab the highlighter panel. Let's line it up so that it ma matches the instructions and let's do the folds. Okay, so with these folds done like that, nice and loose. Time for the next step. Okay, on this step, we're gonna take the panel that we just finished folding and we're going to attach it onto the right cheek of uh, the bear here. So the head's done. We're gonna put uh, that aside and move on to the next step. Okay, next step. And let's get folding. So with this folded, we are ready for the next step. Okay, on this step, we're gonna take the piece that we just folded and we're going to attach it to the head of the bear across the front of the neck here. Now this will shape the bear a little bit, so be prepared to just 
make some some movement there to help it along okay this connects is these two panels here this flat edge and this tab match up with the corresponding um, panels on the head right there okay so we'll start off we'll put two pins on this triangle here and attach that to this tab at the bottom of the bear's head. So put that aside and move on to the next step. Okay, on this next step, we're going to take the arm assembly, the right arm, and we're going to attach that onto the head assembly. So for this one, we're going to take, we're going to put the head on its side here like this for a second. We're going to take these, this particular tab right here at the top end of the arm. Okay. And that tab goes onto this flat edge right there at the corner of the head and that chest piece that we just put in. So we're going to put two pins through this flat edge here. Okay, so now I have something that looks like that and the, the bear's got one arm. Okay, this next step, you're going to take the left arm and assemble it on to the rest of the bear. Now we have a bear with two arms. They're a little twisted off each other. It should be more like this, but once we get the back pieces and the rest of the chest in place, they'll, uh, they'll line up nicely. Okay, so let's stop this step there and then move on to the next step. Grab this highlighted piece here. Then we're gonna lay this back out on top of the table and the orientation that's shown on the on the instructions and do our folds all right so this piece does not have any connections onto itself but it connects to the main body of the bear just below the upper chest and connects the arms this is the armpit area on both sides here okay so next step we'll put this onto the bear itself we're going to take the main bear assembly that you have with the head and the arms and this piece is going to attach right there like so So there we go, we have the bear looking very very much like a bear now. Uh, so let's carry on and finish the additional pieces. Okay, this next piece is small, but it is quite an important piece uh, as it connects the main upper body of the bear to the legs. With that piece folded, just very light folds on them, it's time to move on to the next step. Next step, we're going to take the piece that we just folded and connect it to the main body of the bear. This piece continues on along the front, right in the middle here. 
Okay, and it connects through these two, this flat edge to this tab, and this tab to this flat edge, and then we'll do the connections on the side as well, and then the legs will come off of here. So and this will give us the edges that we're going to create to where the legs come out from the main body of the bear. So looking pretty good. Let's carry on to the next step. On this next set of steps, we're going to be putting together the legs for the bear. Get it lined up with the instructions and let's do the fold. So what we can do with this one now that it's assembled is start putting the pieces that make sense together, okay? We're gonna start off in this middle piece here. that tab in place the rest continues on to be closed there's a lot of closure on this one here so I'm gonna move that tab underneath put a pin in there and that connects onto that one and then this next one comes under and the same thing we're gonna put a pin and finally one last one this edge with two pins. Just like that. So put this aside for now, move on to the next step where we'll make the other leg and then we'll finally attach both of them onto the bottom side before merging it with the rest of them. Next step, grab the other leg piece. line this up the way they show on the instructions and get going with the bending. The folding is mostly done so now we're going to start like the other leg connecting the pieces together that makes sense to connect and there's a lot of them on this one here so we'll start off on this area here in the middle. up all the connections on this other leg so now we have two fully formed legs for our little bear okay and they'll connect something like this and then onto the body okay next step we're gonna grab this piece as indicated in the instructions and get ready to make some bends. Okay, with the thing folded, we are done with this particular step and we're ready to do the next step, which is attaching the legs on to this. We're gonna take the base that we just folded up and attach it to the legs. Match up this triangle in the front of the leg here. We're gonna put a locking pin through it and then we're going to connect that to this tab here at the front of the foot or the base I should say.
Now from here on in, just follow along and connect all the remaining tabs and edges together. So now we're just going to continue along and do connections for all the adjoining tabs and, uh, and edges. So And that's it for this leg connected to the base plate. Now there's going to be some more pieces here that are not, uh, don't quite connect, but that's because there's another piece that goes behind here where the body comes up from. Okay. All right. That's the end of that step where we put this leg on. Next step is to attach the other leg onto the base. And that happens very much the same way as we did the left leg. We're going to start off in the center here, right at the very front, and we'll push through the bottom as we push the pins from the outside up, and that connects right onto this tab here at the bottom of the foot. All right, so now we have these two together and we're just missing on the middle section here where that tab, where that tab from this leg has to go behind the edge for this one. Okay, and like that we have the legs assembled with the clear base plate on it and the feet are ready to attach to the rest of the set. All right, to connect the legs to the body, it's fairly straightforward. So this is how the pieces connect together. And start pushing, putting in the pins onto the outer edges, okay? So that when you're trying to connect them together there's enough connection points in there so i did that one there and these two here okay and over here i'm going to do these two and actually let me see oh, i can do these two as well on the main body Okay, I'm going to put one right in the middle there. That's the, but there's two left over in the middle there that need pins. And this one, the one on the right side is going to be very tricky to get in because the, the tab from the other leg does get in the way a bit. Um, so if you can do it, great. If you can't, it's okay if it doesn't get connected. It doesn't really affect the shape of the bear. Okay, so let's start by making uh, a couple of connections. I just found two more that can go in and actually give me a better starting point. So the one I just did was this one here. So on the outer side of the, the, the leg, I put those two pins in there. And I know that those two are going to connect to that, those two over there. So we're going to slide that in and we'll try and work our way from one side to the other. Okay, so that slides in there. Let's see if we can push it in. There's one. There's two that snapped in. Go to the next tab. Then we'll come over here to this one. Okay, and I have my thumb underneath pushing against the tapped edge. Let's see if we can flip it over. I'm pushing in right there. Okay. Now 
Now we're going to take these two here and move that tab under it and make that connection. Actually, at the same time, we're going to sneak that tab under like that. And then we're coming underneath so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, we'll come back and pin that one because I think that one will fall into place very easily. So that's the one right there. That'll fall into place more easily once we get these next ones in place. Okay, so by going ahead a couple of positions and making this one go in place, it, this one helps secure this whole bit together and, and hold it in place for me a bit better, which just is nice. Okay, so these are a couple that are a little bit on the trickier side, but they're not too bad, okay? So the ones I'm referring to is right between under the hand of, so just the positioning, here's the bear, under the hand, right there against the body. There's this panel there, that little edge, that connects to this tab that comes out of the hand. Okay, and that wraps around quite a bit. And then this one connects to that one there. So, let me put that pin in place, like so. And then I'm gonna flip this tab back. This is the one of those rare occasions where putting the pin through both at the same time is actually probably gonna be slightly easier than doing one at a time. Because this way, you can fold, you don't have enough, you don't have much room to fold here. So by folding the tab on over top of the edge, that gives you just enough space to bring the pin across. So now we have to do these ones here. These ones are a little tight, a little tricky because they're right against the corner and it may help actually to pop out the one beside it to give you a little bit more room and do that connection between this edge and this tab here, which is from the arm. Okay, so this one here, same thing. We've got that one there, that tab, where my middle finger is. That's gotta go to this pin right there. So we'll just use our thumb to try and angle the pin into the right spot and there you go so that's connected in there okay okay so we'll grab two more pins and we'll come in here let me just see if I can zoom right in and get a better angle so there's a tab that it has to, or the panel that it has to go through the flat edge so we'll put the pin through Okay, and then there's another one that comes up right there towards the inside. These are by far the trickiest ones on this entire assembly. Okay, so now that these are in place, just use your finger to push this over. Use your finger. So we're going to connect that tab there at the end of my index to this pin. So I'm going to push it through. And get it to flick over. And then same thing with this one here. This one's actually a bit more straightforward. Give a bit more room to play with. Now that that's connected, we're good. All right, so now we have, we have what looks like a very happy little Prismic Bear. So the hard part is pretty much done. We have just five pieces left to 
build the back. At this stage with the bear nearly assembled and the back completely open, this is a perfect opportunity to uh, put the string lights into the bear and make sure that they're nicely distributed throughout the whole uh, cavity from the head to the arms to the legs before we close in the back and the bottom. So we'll take the, the string light here, untwist it. Now we don't want to just throw them coiled like this. We want to um, open them up a little bit. on to the next step and finish this bear off. Next step we're gonna grab uh, this panel here. Line it up make sure it matches the shape that's in the instructions and do all the folds as indicated. Okay, so something like this is all you really need for this one. And then the final angle position will be determined once you actually get it into, into the body. Okay, next step, let's get this piece that we just folded on to the body of the bear. We'll start off by putting a pin in all the flat edges of this piece. Right there. This flat edge connects to this tab right here on the back of the neck. So that goes to there. Now that in place, that one is done. Okay, next step, we're gonna grab this piece as indicated in the instructions. Line it up the way it shows on the instructions and let's start uh, doing some folds. Okay, so pretty easy folds on this one here. Once you get it to this stage, this one is done. Okay, next step is to take the panel that we just uh, folded and insert it into the body of the bear. Let's get some pins in place on this one edge, on the big edge of, the, of this panel. So we'll look at there. Okay, and that, that edge attaches to this tab on the back of the bear, just behind the arm. Okay, and then this one goes to there. There's one pin right there on the corner that's gonna be really, really tricky to get into. Uh, so don't worry if you don't get it. This edge has two. We can put one just in there and it'll hold it just just fine. So now that piece is in place and we have the one side of the back 
completed. And we're just missing the other side and then the final panel across the bottom. So let's get on to those. Next step, we're going to grab this panel here and fold as indicated on the instructions. Okay, so once it looks like this, again, minimum folding on this one, we're ready to move on to the next step and assemble it with the bear. Next step, we're gonna take this panel that we just folded and stick it into the bear. This one goes right there, it's the back piece. And you can see that it attaches these, this edge with three, goes right under this big edge with three as well. Now we can close the seam up. So let's get in there, get this edge right under the, the pins. That middle piece of the back is in place. Two pieces to go. Very exciting part of the process. Let's get on it. Next step, grab this piece. And let's get folding. Okay. All right, now that this piece is folded this way, we are ready for the next step, which is to put this onto the body of the bear. Okay, now we have the bear and this piece fits neatly into place here. Okay, we're going to, that goes like that. Okay, so with this one, we're actually, we're gonna connect a good, a good part of it, but not all of it, because the last piece that goes in here, the tail area of the bear can be a little tricky and we wanna leave ourselves a little bit of room to work with. Um, so we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna start off with this edge here, connect to this tab and work our way around a little bit here. Okay, we're looking pretty good. So now, this last one here, this last edge, we're gonna leave this open. And once we have this last piece that goes in at the bottom, we'll make sure that we have enough room to work all these little pieces here before closing this bigger one. This is the last fold piece before finishing up the bear. Then we're going to line it up and fold according to the instructions. You'll see here that this one here, because it has a triangle, this is the, tab, the, the edge tab, this is the flat edge. So we'll put a pin through this outer one here and that goes onto that one. Okay, and when you do that, this one here folds next, so this piece folds forward and goes on to that one, and this is the outer side. So that connects in there, okay? 
Now there's two other pieces like this that you'll see on the sides here. Right, these holes, it might be tempting to try and fold them back onto themselves. They just don't, they don't fit. So these ones actually connect on to the side pieces on the main assembly and that's how they connect together and form the uh, the tail. All right, so now that we have this together, we're ready to put this onto the bear and finish up. Now this access hole here is good to put your fingers through and hold the pieces as you push the pins in place, right? And also where the wire can come out. Okay, final assembly step where we take this last piece that we just folded and we close off the prismic bears. This piece obviously goes like this across the bottom and joins all of this together. As much as we had left these ones open at the last step, let's go ahead and close them and close this edge because it is, uh, I think it's, it's going to help pull the piece back into place. So now we've got that there, okay? Let's bring this into play and see where things start going. Okay, so this edge, this flat edge goes over top of this tab and this flat edge goes over top of this tab. So let's get, put two pins in it. So I'm looking at the tail assembly here or the base assembly, put it right there on the, on the bear's tail and then put one through there as well. This piece, I'm going to slide this section over top of this tab first and then bring that edge up under that tab there. Okay, so there you go. See, that went in easy peasy. Now we're going to take this tab and the tab from the back, the tail, and we're going to work it back underneath the main body and slide it in okay and now it's about the same process as everything else where we take um, all the edges and the tabs and we go around and we put them all into place on this side I slid that tab underneath go pin through That's in place now. So we'll do the next one through. And actually in this case, it's, it's probably easier to line up both holes. To get the job done. Okay. So same thing here. We're going to take this top, slide it under that panel. We're going to bring that right down so that it lines up. Okay, so we're gonna take all these edges here and I'm just folding these edges down because I know that this piece is going to be flat across the bottom. So let's get these flat, these pieces flattened out, these tabs. That'll just make the whole thing a little bit easier. Okay, now that these tabbed edges are flat, it's just a matter of making the final connections along this bottom edge here onto the tabs themselves. But before we do that, Let's position the wire for the uh, coming out of the, the bear. So it could come out of the hole here. Uh, you could also pin it right there, which is actually my preferred spot for you to do it in so that the wire doesn't pull on the inner string too much. So just hold the wire there for a second while you put a, put a pin through that hole there. And once you connected to that edge that is very stuck in there slightly out of the way and you can do it on either side it doesn't have to be on that side so now we're just going to go all the way around that your prismic bear is complete all the 
pins across the bottom are done. The wire is sticking out of the tail nicely. But now we have a fully assembled Prismic Bear with the wire sticking out of the side of the tail, which we can just plug into any existing USB socket. The lights are evenly distributed throughout the entire body and just shows quite nicely. And there's a switch that you can control the lights on and off. Good luck with your build. Hope you have fun and you enjoy your prison bear.